just before the great and terrible day of the Lord, there will be Elijah coming. Why Elijah? Because Elijah becomes a messianic figure. Why does he become a messianic figure? Because he is the only prophet that we have in the, in the Bible that we don't know who his father is, who his mother is, to which tribe he belongs, where he was born. We know nothing about his past. He suddenly appears in 1 Kings 17. Already a full-blown prophet. But we don't know much about him. And the second reason is because he doesn't die. He is taken alive in a chariot of fire. If they knew about rockets in biblical times, they could have said it's Atlas rocket or it is the Columbia or, you know, one of the other spacecrafts that come and go from the sky and down. I don't know what it is, but it is the chariot of fire. He doesn't die. And because of that, he becomes a messianic figure. And before the coming of the Messiah, he will come. He came the first time in the form of John the Baptist. Jesus said, John the Baptist, if you wish, he is Elijah, the prophet. And he will come again before the second return of the Messiah, according to Malachi. He will come again to make peace. In the family. To make peace between fathers and sons. Children and their parents. And to bring reconciliation. And deliverance. From the problems that we have amassed. In our lives. Inside our families. There's no such thing as a perfect family in the Bible. And I don't think there is such a thing as a perfect family on the earth.